This is the Anchor Liberty 2 Pro, a $150 pair of truly wireless earbuds. My last experience with Anchor earbuds didn't go so well, but these, they might change my mind. Let's find out with a little review. First, I wanna point out that these were actually sent to me by Anchor themselves, but the opinions I have on these little earbuds are completely mine and they didn't influence my opinion no matter what. I'm gonna be completely and fully honest with you guys. The thing you'll notice when opening up the box for the Liberty 2 Pro are the crazy amount of wings and ear tips to customize the fit to better fit your ears. You're practically bound to find a good fit with these because there's just so many different variations, even if that means you have to try every single one of them. The box also contains a USB-C to USB-A cable for charging. Now, let's start off by talking about the case a little bit. I had some issues with how the Soundcord Liberty case was and how it made me look like I had a big honking sausage in my pants, which looks completely unnatural, but the one that comes with the Liberty 2 Pro are a good size. It's shaped like a hockey puck that got stung by a bee and fits comfortably in my pockets even with a wallet and some keys. Also sliding the, the key cover open and closed is like, it's, it's really addicting. It has this really satisfying sound and feel to it. These earbuds also do come in white, which looks super clean. The case itself charges with the USB type C end and holds up to 24 hours of charge and eight hours of charge on each of the earbuds and has these three little LED indicators that give you an idea on battery life of the case when it's open and it charges wirelessly. With the case wide open and flipped upside down, you can shake it all you want and the earbuds never fall out. This is great because it makes the earbuds harder to lose than those other wireless earbuds with some looser magnetic cases. And did I mention that the earbuds attach magnetically to the case? Well, they attach magnetically to the case by snapping into place when they get close enough. Now let's discuss the earbuds and their sound quality. They have an inoffensive design and it's not very flashy, but it really doesn't have to be. They, they look fine. They look like wireless earbuds, you know? What'd you expect? Spikes like those tricked out cars on the street. The signs of the earbuds have their logo and they kind of look like buttons, but they're actually just for looks. The buttons are actually these little tic-tac sized nubs that you can use to play pause, skip tracks, or go back a track. And the buttons can also be set to change volume through changing the presets in the Soundcore app. And this little indent near the front of the Liberty 2 Pro earbud is actually for a white LED light, which blinks when you have your music paused. When using the right sized ear tips and wings, you get a nice fit within your ear and the earbuds don't fall out easy, even on the treadmill. Their sound quality is really, really good. I can't find anything about their sound to complain at, at all. At first I thought the right earbud was a bit weaker than the left one, but I found out that it just wasn't in my ear correctly. And after changing the tips, it fixed that real quick. And if you download the Anchor Soundcore app, you can easily change the EQ settings for the earbuds. And the Soundcore app even has this personalized EQ test to see what frequencies you're deaf to. Honestly, I was expecting to be like <laughs> deaf in everything, but apparently I don't hear low ends very well and it's spat out an EQ with raised low end frequencies just for me. So kind of a big deal. This personalized EQ definitely made the earbuds sound more full sounding after using this setting, but that may not be true for everyone. The app also provides firmware updates to the earbuds. Now let's talk about mic quality. Put on your earbuds or put on your headphones and let's have a quick listen. On the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pro, mic quality is important nowadays because everyone's on their Zoom calls for, for work and school and all that. So I thought I'd do a quick test for you guys. How does this sound? So let's do a quick sound test. This is around how loud I speak to another person if they're in the same room as me. Well, actually, maybe a little bit softer than that, but you get the general idea. And I'm gonna play some music, some copyright free music at 50%, 75%, and 100%, and you can get a general idea of how loud the, the sound leakage is. All right, this is about 50%. So, how does this sound? Not too bad, I hope. Hope you're not hearing too much. What you might be hearing is my air conditioner, actually, the air vent. This is at 75%. How's it sound? Can you hear anything? Is the sound leaking at all? And this is at 100%. Can you hear any leakage? So now that I've talked about all the features and what it does well, what are the weak points for the Anchor Soundcore 2 Pro? I wanna first say this portion is a bit nitpicky because it does a lot of things really well. So it's pretty hard to find any huge negative things about it. So 
These are just the small minor little things that I found. The first one would be how the LED lights only turn on when you're not listening to something and they breathe in and out. So in a situation like if you're talking to someone, the lights can be a bit distracting. Also, they don't serve much of a purpose other than that and they blink in the case when you're pairing them. But when they're in the case, they're barely visible. I guess these lights do come in handy for like in the dark usage and you can't find them because you drop them. But beyond that, the only other potential downside I find with these earbuds is it lacks a feature that many other truly wireless earbuds have where if you pull out your earbud, it should pause your music. This isn't a complete deal breaker, but it would have been a really nice quality of life feature to have. So in conclusion, the Anchor Soundcore 2 Pro are a pair of really good, truly wireless earbuds with a no frills approach. They have a nicely sized case, great battery life, good fit due to the amount of ear tips and wings and good sound quality. It doesn't have fancy features like noise canceling or removing your earbud to pause music, but all the negatives are outshined by how good this thing is as truly wireless earbuds for listening to music. I was going to this review with a lot of skepticism since I didn't really enjoy the last Anchor earbuds I tried. But these, they really impressed me. I definitely like these more than the Jabra 65T, and in many areas, they're better than just the regular plain old common AirPods. And if I were to recommend truly wireless earbuds to my non-Apple using friends at $150 MSRP, the Sancor Liberty 2 Pro is definitely a good option. Anyway guys, what do you think? Would you consider these earbuds or are there other earbuds that you're considering or do you not believe in truly wireless earbuds? Or let, let's, let's turn around a bit. Do you just prefer AirPods? Be honest with me or or do you not? Leave all that down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.